How's it going everyone? Today I'm gonna do something that I've never done before. Today I'm gonna do a shoe review. I skate a lot of shoes and I should have done this a long time ago, but better late than never. So here we go. So first we're gonna start off with the skate old school. So I'll start off with these because these are the ones I've skated recently and they're a little more beat up than my other ones. So there's no more old school pro. They now have a skate pro. Um, it's a little different. The insole is a little different. It's called pop cush. It's a little worn out. Um, it's supposed to be a little more cushiony, a little more resistance to impact. I don't skate a lot of big gaps, so it's got its dura cap like uh, most vans have now. Stitching's pretty good, double stitching. The OG Vans stripe. As I said before, I just recently skated these shoes, so I'm sorry if they're a little dirty. So the pop cush is supposed to be giving you a little more of a grip on the bottom and it's supposed to last you a lot longer. I definitely felt the difference. I've skated old school before and the bottom wore out really, really fast. I skated these for about two or three weeks. Uh, I just recently got hurt, so I haven't skated in a while. So it's not because of the shoes or anything. I think it's just because I wasn't skating smart. So it's got your usual suede front right here. All this is suede. And then right here where you notice the little ripping here, that's kind of like a canvas. So that's the only kind of downside to this I see. I would have made it all suede instead of just suede and canvas. Because if you do like heel flips and stuff like that, this is exactly where your heel flip is. They have this really cool checkered tag, which they changed before or they changed now. Um, I kind of like it. I think it's a little cute. And then underneath it, it says Vans. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, I don't know if you can see this little ridge here, that checkered little piece. That's a little harder than the other old schools. So it's a little better when you get that little shark bite at the back of your heel. Kind of protects you a little bit more. That's an upside to these. Um, the tongue on the back says world's number one skate shoe. That's subjective. <laughs> um, the tongue is still pretty narrow. It's thin, which is all right and cool. I like a little thicker of a tongue. Overall, I give the shoe a seven and a half, maybe seven out of 10. It's not the best skate shoe. It's definitely not the worst. Uh, it's just a regular skate shoe. There's no crazy technology into it. So, I mean, if you just want something that's gonna break in really quick on your feet and just last you maybe a month or so, I'd get you something like this. Next up, we have the Van Sport. This is a little different design from Vans that we're used to. Uh, they don't have the usual Vans side stripe kind of logo here. They have a V for Vans, I'm gonna assume. <laughs> Uh, I think it's pretty cool. It's a little sleek kind of design. The tongue is also different. It also has this. I don't know if this is like an old school version or a new version of it, but it's pretty cool. I like it. It's got this pretty interesting stitching right here. It's a little like ridged. It's kind of cool. I've never skated these. Um, I can't wait to skate them. They seem pretty chill. Um, they look sleek. I'm not sure if they're cup sole or vulcanized. They have this stripe going along this end here. I would assume vulcanized, it's just a little different of a design that band that I'm used to. It's also got that same old heel protection here, which I like a lot. Um, it's really nice for heel flips and stuff like that. The sole seems really good. It's got the same pop cush insole and bottom sole. It's supposed to give you more grip and longer lasting grip, which I definitely noticed the first time I stepped on my board. So if you're someone that likes really, really, really grippy shoes, I definitely recommend the Pop Cush from Vans. They're really grippy. So the thing I like about this a lot is that there's no stitching right here. So people that like to flick their boards or just, I don't know, people who skate a lot, you notice that if you have stitching here, it's gonna go off like really quick or it's just gonna wear out really quick. Your shoe blows out a lot quicker and then you have to shoe go it or just get new shoes. Um, it's all suede, so I really, really like the fact that it's all suede, no canvas. It's just gonna last you a lot longer. Um, I think it's a pretty decently built shoe. Uh, it doesn't feel too, too like stiff. So if you're someone that likes to jump off stairs and stuff like that, I don't think this is a shoe for you. Um, but then again, like some people are like really gnarly. I really like the color of this shoe. I tend to keep my shoes really dark or just black because they go with a lot more things. I like the insole to this. It's like black and red, a little gray, a little checker there. Vance is kind of doing a little more with their shoes to make them look a little more 
you know, modern and competitive. So pretty cool, the shoes. I give the shoe uh, an eight out of 10. So next up, we have the Skate Pad Caps. Uh, this is probably the most popular band shoe. My favorite one, at least. This was designed and inspired by Steve Caballero a long way back, I don't know when. Um, you guys can all fact check me and all that stuff. I think the story behind it was that this was like a full like skate hide or something like that. He didn't like it and then he started just cutting them in half and it just became a thing so they started just making a half cap shoe. So it's a pretty bulky shoe. Some people don't like that. I kind of like it. I like the fact that it has extra padding here. So the main difference between these half cabs and the previous half cabs that Vans just came out with is that from here all the way around to about this side here there's like more support it's like a reinforced plastic or rubber i think uh which is a lot better it takes a little longer to break in and to get used to but overall it's a lot better of a shoe than the previous half cab uh the stitching and all that here is basically normal just like your regular half cabs um if you never skated a half cab before uh, i think these are probably the best van shoes out there I just think it provides you this perfect balance of board feel and stability. You have your ankle support and a lot of protection from impact, but you also have a good flexi board feel. Again, I have the black and white ones, which I always pick because black and white goes with everything, but you can always get different half cabs because there's a lot of different colors. So this whole section here is suede, and then you have a little stripe here of canvas, which isn't too bad or anything. Um, it's better than having a big patch of canvas here and then a little bit of suede so your shoe can blow out. I really like the uh, toe cap on the half cabs because I just think they last a lot longer and they give you a good flick. Um, again, these are just like my favorite band shoes just because they last a long time and then just feel really good. And honestly, these shoes look really good. I mean, who wouldn't want to rock some half cabs? I'm gonna give these shoes a nine out of 10 uh, just because they took a little longer to break in than usual. Uh, the half cabs before, they kind of broke in really quick, but they blew out really quick. These took a little bit to break in, but they lasted me a lot, lot longer. So I definitely appreciate that they lasted me a lot longer. So thank you everyone for watching my first shoe review. I'm sorry if it was really bad. I promise to get better at them as time goes on. If you'd like me to review some other shoes, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe below. Thank you everyone and hope you have a great day.